You know, you hear all of these horror stories about ethanol gas and what it does to the inside of your carburetor. And, uh, you know, this is our daily driver. This thing's been on the road for, I guess, five years now. And the last time I was in this carburetor was five years ago. Um, but what I want to do is I want to go in there right now and I want to see what five years of daily driving with ethanol gas does to the inside of a carburetor. Um, so, let's see. How fast can we get this thing apart? I don't want you guys drifting off and going to watch like Scotty Kilmer or something. <laughs> Scotty's a good guy. Yeah. Um, so like I said, this car is our daily driver. It sees probably 30,000 miles a year. Uh, all kinds of conditions, stop and go driving, road trips. And then also sometimes it'll sit for a month or two at a time. Um, you know, while we use a different car or you know, we just get tired of it and switch out. We like to keep our cars in rotation. So, this is going to be exactly typical, I believe, of what you're going to find if you pop the top of a carburetor off. There runs nothing exclusively on ethanol gas. Okay, we got all these. And we got, whoops. I forgot this one clip. Hang on. Gotcha. And this is what we got. Huh. Get a look in there. All right, that looks uh that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Five years. The last time I was in this carburetor was five years ago. And like I said, nothing but 10% ethanol gas. Uh, I hear that it kills the accelerator pumps. It kills the rubber in the accelerator pumps. Let's see. Okay, well this one is a leather accelerator pump, which should actually be even worse. But uh, no, looks pretty good. Got, got some pretty good squirt action there too. So uh, there you go. That's what ethanol gas does to the inside of your carburetor. Now you know what? Here's something nobody ever talks about. One of the problems with using ethanol in today's car, in today's gasoline and yesterday's cars, is that it will evaporate after it's a couple of days sitting. So you'll have to come out, let's say the car sits for three, four days, you'll have to come out and crank it, crank it, crank it to get the gas pumped up and up inside the carburetor. Well, the way gasoline used to be formulated, it was, it was to prevent it from evaporating. And so when a car sat for, let's say, a week, a month, a year, three years, that gasoline would sit inside the carburetor and, and turn to varnish and turn to all sorts of solid cruds, and it would clog the inside passages of the carburetor. One of the benefits of using ethanol gas is that it does evaporate. So instead of it sitting there and turning to muck, it actually disappears. The carburetor, if you left this carburetor sit, let's say, for, for two, three days, it would be bone dry. It would be empty. If you let it sit for 100 years, you'd come out, fill it with gasoline, turn the key, and she'd start right up. You couldn't do that with the old gasoline. I know for a fact that even in the gas tank, with some of our limited-use cars, like, uh, like our Roadrunner over here, we take it out, I don't know, once every couple of months, buzz around the neighborhood. I'll only throw like 10 bucks worth of gas in it. If I go back to start it, let's say, three weeks, a month later, the gas tank's bone dry. Nothing sat in there and turned to gack and varnish like in the old days. So, you know, there are upsides to everything. And as far as the ethanol gas is concerned, I'm fine with it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.